Justin, are you ready to show them our new project? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. This here is our new 1965 Ford Galaxy, which you saw in our last video. We have some cool plans for it. Um, I bought it for, what was it, $1,700? And I'd like to be into it on the road for less than $3,500 and get it to the point of where we want it to be for, for that price, which I think we can do. First, let's look in the trunk here and see what we can find. So we're gonna pop the hood here and, uh, oh, hey man. <laughs> it's big in here, as you can see. There's a big fuel tank underneath of here, underneath of Justin that we're gonna yank out and we're gonna be putting all the air suspension stuff back in here. That's what's going on back there. We've got a very massive dent, as you can see right in here in the door. So we're gonna try and work on pulling that out. Interior is actually not too bad. Obviously the seat's really bad, and Justin just unbolted that, so we're gonna be pulling that out. How was it pulling that out, Justin? Not fun, I was working in a puddle, Sam. This Justin can complain all he wants, but whatever. You're welcome to leave the, the company if you want. No, I'll stick around for a hair longer. I think we're just gonna scrap the carpet, put something else in there. And we might even be able to swap the front seat out for the back seat so we can have the nice seat up in the front. And we've got all the factory, everything, even the, the, the key and everything works, but it, it's gonna need some, some major work here. So Justin, tell us, what engine do we have in here? We have a straight six. Straight six, I don't even know what displacement it is. I don't know, we want to do something cool. Maybe put a turbo on it. Who knows, it wouldn't be that hard. Like, let's be honest, it wouldn't be that hard to put a turbo on this thing. Anyways, we'll cross that bridge in a later in a later video. But what we want to do with this thing is lay it down on the ground. We're gonna lay some frame. Lay frame, which actually isn't gonna to be too hard on this. We're just gonna to have to make some modifications to make, make the steering go up far enough because all the tie rods are gonna hit the frame. But we need to go lower, we need to go really low. Um, it's got a pretty nasty engine tick, which we'll show you guys in a little bit here, which we're gonna fix, and, and it's got some other stuff going on. We still haven't come up with a name for it yet. I still think the death slide sounds pretty cool, because trust me, when this thing's all gangster fried, it's gonna be pretty, pretty tough. This side is in perfect condition. There's not really any rust, it's just, you know, there's a little bit of rust on the rockers on the back, and there's that dent in the other side, which is unfortunate, but Justin thinks he can get that out, right Justin? Absolutely. Absolutely. Brute and force and ignorance always wins. Brute force and ignorance. Obviously we need a windshield, this one's absolutely toast. And what do you guys think about cutting a sunroof in the roof? I'm, I'm totally joking, I hate people to do that. Chop top would be cool. That's way above my level. Anyway, that's pretty much the car. We're gonna pull out the seats. Justin's still getting that done, he's almost done, and then we will maybe roll it around, maybe get it up on the hoist, take a better look at the suspension so we see what we're gonna do there, but it's gonna be pretty cool, guys. So that when we drop the air, we can just go and just make big sparks, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. I think we've gotta go like 10 inches down. What do you think? Yeah, I'd probably lay it out. I think the front and the back seat are the same thing. I'm surprised this thing even has the seat belt. It's fun being on the other end. It's fun watching someone else crawl through the car. Yeah, she's a pretty rough unit. Yeah, we'll make something work. If I can't do it, it can't be done. We're gonna make a list of everything we wanna get done on this thing. Make it cool. Vacuum and the crud drop gas tank. We're gonna get, we're just gonna completely delete that. Get engine running, delete current exhaust. New wind shield. Get fuel pump running on key on power. What do you think, Justin? What else should we do? Slam it. Slam it. Dude, I totally forgot. Get airbags. Slam it. Obviously, this, this list is going to improve and get much longer as we get deeper into the car. But that's kind of kind of the vibe here. And we're gonna paint the wheels, we're getting white wall rims for it, or right, white, we get, we're getting white walls for it. Sam wants to tint it, but tint's for ugly people. Justin's gonna pull that other seat out, and then we're gonna pull the carpet out. And then we're gonna try and get this thing running smoothly so we can move it in and out of the shop, because obviously we only have one bay right now, but we're getting another bay when the tractor boys get out. How's it cleaning up, Justin? It's going really good, actually. 
I know, like, I'm generally not a Ford man, but that's pretty cool. And all these sill plates are in perfect condition. So we're gonna clean those up. Clean the interior up really nice. And get everything vacuumed out. And man, this thing's just coming along, dude. This is gonna be our summer cruiser. Floor is literally mint. Let's go. What's what's this, Justin? What's this hole? It's a plug. Plug Over. hole. So you can drain water when you spill beer or something? I guess so. 1965 was a crazy time. I'm just making some gifts. There's a little heart for some family for Christmas here because I'm really poor. Can't afford, can't afford real gifts. But life in Canada right now. I know that most of my viewers here are probably American, but it's hard up here. So that's why you gotta like and subscribe. Help us Canadians out because our leadership up here is not. 100, you know? You know what Riz means? Like, guys, like, I got Riz. What does that mean? I don't know, like, they got game or something, maybe? They got game? I don't know. I hear that lately. I can't even afford to feed myself, let alone give you the. Is this our uh, car, the song for this car? Interior is looking fresh, Justin. I don't know if fresh is the word for it. You don't think fresh is the right word? No. I wonder if the wipers were so. All new, 150 horsepower, blank, big six. So it's 150 horsepower. That's not bad. Was 150 horsepower. I think we should pull the engine out and clean it all up and paint it and everything. Yeah. Like really, it's not that big of a job to pull this thing out. This door handle is a little bit seized, so what we're gonna do is take a hammer and see if we can't get it to move. This. Carefully, don't ding the door, Sam. Swing hard in case you hit it. Beauty. It's so buttery too. It's so buttery dude. Watch this. Nice. Like a new door. <laughs> what goodies do we have in this old cigarette tree? <laughs> I should have dumped that in the garbage. What was it? What was I thinking? Vintage bits. I wonder if they've gone up in value. <laughs> the floor is in really good shape. There's a little bit of rust down there, but nothing crazy. We can easily address that. And we're gonna rip out the headliner too, and we're just gonna rock it with no headliner, just bare metal and uh, all that, but that's for a different day. I wonder if you could order a new deco. Probably could. Take this off here and give it a quick splash. That'll light. Yeah. Oh, a leaf. There's a leaf. <laughs> okay, well, that's probably our issue then. I'd say. This is why I didn't start this morning, I bet you. Okay, pop those plugs off. Fast, fast, fast. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> no! Camaro driving. Ah, oh, don't give it away. We're supposed to guess. Someone already guessed it. Third gen Camaro. All right, see that? That is a very wet spark plug. Let's do a compression test. So we've got our compression tester here, and I don't know why, but it's super foggy, and I can't seem to get it fixed. So the first hole has 130 psi. 
So that's pretty good. The second one is also 130. Dude, bang on. 130? Yeah, same. Let's go. Bang on. 130. That one is a hair lower. It's about 128. We can live with that. If you're looking for no more than about 15 PSI difference. That that is really good still. 130. Right on. That's sweet. This engine's gonna purr like a kitten. Once we get it rolling. Yeah. There is a pretty considerable tick, but it sounds to me like just a rocker adjustment. So we'll see what happens. That would be very cool. We have to go get some new spark plugs. And we have to fix the, the plug wire that Justin broke. This comes off the paycheck. And um Dude, that looks brand new. Brand new, but either way, based on what I'm observing, that is not our problem. Well, Justin secured some spark plugs and a new plug wire, which I hope is long enough. Do you think that's long enough? Easy, man. Let's go. Let's slam these in. Tim, if you're watching this, thank you for everything. One time, I dropped a spark plug and put it back in, and there was a misfire because it collapsed it. So whenever you check your spark plug, whenever you drop a spark plug like this, make sure. Those are my Christmas decorations. Oh. See how it closed the gap? And one guy said, you should check, the, you should check. And I said, no, it can't be that. Checked everything else, came back to that, and it was, it was, it was that's all it was. So I learned my lesson. Okay, let's put the plug wires back on here. Number six. I should check the oil. Let's see what happens. How would you look, Looking Sam? dry as a bone. You didn't even taste it. I'm proud of you. Well, look, there's nothing to taste. That's not good. We should put some oil in here. Got new plugs. We got the wire fix that Justin broke. And not gonna let that go, are you? And we got. Acting like a vacuum. We know we're getting fuel there, right? Yep. If you check the pressure. So what I'm gonna do now, clean the shop, and then I'm gonna pull the carburetor off. Clean that all up and go through that. Put it back together, and I bet you that'll fix it. I bet you there's, one of the jets is plugged, so when we pour fuel in the carburetor, it's working, because obviously there's fuel just going straight into the intake. But it's not actually getting fuel because there's something jammed in there. Because we ran it out of gas, and when we ran it out of gas, it probably sucked something through, because there's a little bit of debris in the bottom of this tank. I only say that because my mom hates it when I see it. All right, so. I decided not to reuse that carburetor because there's parts missing off of it. Um, there's two accelerator pumps on it um, and the one is missing on the one side so might as well just buy a new carburetor, it's 150 bucks. So we'll be putting that on hold, we'll have to push this thing back out and everything but we got it pretty clean and the floors are solid and it's actually a really solid car, I don't think it was driven that much. Um, we have the, the last registration and it was registered 45 years ago, so it's 65, so it, 65, you can only use it for about 18, 19 years, maybe if that, and then it got parked, so it's actually in pretty good shape, didn't see a lot of salt, but that gives you guys kind of an idea of what we're working with, and uh, we'll continue on that in the new year, and until then, we'll just keep goofing around with the other stuff here, I got a bunch of stuff I got to sell, and uh, deals keep falling through, which is kind of lame, but that's okay. Um, anyways, hope you guys have a great evening. We'll see you in the next video.